so I'm going to be talking about the whale digestive system today. And so basically when the whale eats, it, eats its food, it comes in through the esophagus and it goes down into the stomach. And their stomach acts as yours would, so it basically digests the food. Here at Pope High School, our science department put together an animal diversity workshop where we had students from Timber Ridge Elementary School and Shallowford Falls Elementary School come in and learn about sharks, whales, and other animals. The science teachers at Pope High School collaborated on a science uh, day for the elementary the schools, Timber Ridge and no, Shallowford no. Falls. Uh, we wanted to have an animal diversity workshop to give students an opportunity to see the wonderful diversity of live animals, uh, to experience a shark dissection, and also to experience walking through a life-size replica of a blue whale. We got to take a look at the internal features of a shark. We got, we got, to, and the students got to point out what each organ was and what they, how they worked, like the the heart and the liver, and this and that stuff. It was a really big opportunity for us. It was really nice. In previous years, students from Timber Ridge Elementary have come to Pope High School to dissect the shark. We decided to expand the science experience to include collaboration between our high school students and the elementary school students. We got to learn about the right whale and how it and how people have been hunting it down and we got to learn a lot of cool facts about it with them and presentations and we got to go through a big balloon of it. We got to see the mouth and how the teeth work. Um, the right whale, it's, when it eats, it sucks in water and plankton with it, and it holds the plankton behind its teeth and then lets out the excess water. Um, whales can eat up to 4,500 pounds of plankton a day, which is 4,500 pounds. And whales actually have three uh, chambers that make up their stomach, just like cows and camels. Mrs. Ransom and her AP Biology students conducted the shark dissection. Mrs. Pierce and her zoology students provided a hands-on workshop with live animals, including a chicken, ferret, and a rat. And my anatomy and physiology students built a life-size replica of a right whale from scratch using plastic and duct tape and taught students about the anatomy and physiology of the whale. Students were able to tour inside the whale, which was uh, inflated with actually a fan from our weight room. Um, so they actually go to the top of the surface and they breathe in air and they go underwater for about two hours before they have to come back up. The AP biology students got to pair up with these elementary school students and really give them a chance to do some hands-on science, which the, all of the students involved really enjoyed. We looked at the insides of the sharks and we talked specifically about the adaptations that they had for living in the marine environment and everybody really had a great time. We got to look up closely at what the skin really looked like and it was really, um, it was bumpier than I expected and um, the brain, we got to pull out the brain and look closely inside and see the wrinkles on it and stuff. If you would like more information about our biology program here at Pope, please visit our website at cobk12.org forward slash pope.